the technique I'm going to show you now to make eyes look like they're sparkling is one of the ones that I get asked about the most. People tell me, how do you make the eyes look like they're really sparkling? Because when I see your portrait sometimes and the eyes just look alive. Well, I add a little thing that, that I call an eye kicker, but I don't... I don't know what the real term for it would be, but we're basically going to add a circle of light or a, a crescent of light under the eyes that kind of make them really, really look like they just sparkle. I don't know how to explain it any other way than that, but this is a terrific technique to use. I use it almost every single time I do a portrait with men and women. Really just really adds that next extra level. So here's how you're going to do it. First, let's just take a look at her eyes. Uh, she has gray eyes. The whites of her eyes are gray. So let's take 10 seconds to fix that. Duplicate the layer. Go to screen mode. You learned this earlier, of course. Hide it behind a mask. And if you're not, if you're going, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Go back and watch the tutorial on doing the whites of the eyes. So make sure it's 100% opacity. So I did a quick tutorial on the whites of the eyes. Go back and watch that because this, I, I hate to do the effect on somebody who's got gray eyes. All right, and then you're going to switch your foreground color to black and pick up any areas you spilled over. So, again, you can go back and watch the tutorial on how to do that. All right, and then lower the opacity at least 50%. Yeah, it looks better, right? Okay, now, how to get the kicker in her eyes. What we're going to do is this. I'm going to zoom in a bit. It looks a little pixelated and stuff because we are at 200%. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Add a new blank layer. And you're going to draw a circle. Get the elliptical marquee tool, also known as the round one. And we're going to draw a circle like an oval over her iris. But stop right before you get to that dark ring that goes around the outside edge, because that outside edge should stay dark. So you want to put this in the inside. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fill this with white. So press the letter D and then X to make white your foreground color. D as in dog, X as in x-ray, makes white your foreground color, and fill that with white. The trick is, shortcut is, option delete on Mac, or alt backspace on PC, fills that with white, and look how her eyes sparkle. Okay, we're not done. Here's the trick. You're going to erase the top half, or the top two-thirds, basically, of this circle. Get the marquee tool, and just erase the top two-thirds. I might have erased a little bit too much. So, there we go. I kind of want it to where it's it's just got a little bit of her pupil in there. It's not critical, by the way, but that's, you know, if you want to make it the optimum. Now, deselect. So, you have a half circle. What you're going to do is this. You're going to hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key, if you have a PC, and you're going to click right on the Layers thumbnail over here in the Layers palette. Command, click that loads that as a selection. You're going to reach inside the selected area. See your cursor changes? You're going to pick up just the selection, not the chunk of white, just the selection, and you're going to move it up like this. Okay? So you clicked inside, dragged straight up. So you move the selection. Now you're going to hit delete, and it cuts a little hole out, and you wind up with, when you deselect, a melon shape. That's the shape you're looking for. Now, you don't have to do it that way. If you're like, man, Scott, that seems like a lot of stuff. Let's back up until we had the round circle. You could always just cheat and do this. Melon shape. There you go. Okay? So, <laughs> it's, not, it's not really critical how you get there, but I will show you the way that I do it generally, just so it's a little more uniform, but it's not critical. Draw, make the circle, fill it with white, put a rectangle around the top. So I'm just redoing what I just did a minute ago. Then you're going to command click, click inside and move up a little bit, then hit delete and deselect and you wind up with this kind of little melon shape. Now you have two more steps to do. All right, step one, blur it. Filter, blur, add a Gaussian blur. Right there, Gaussian blur. We're going to add three pixels of blur. Now, it looks very, very obvious and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but we're going to make it blend in using a blend mode. We're going to change the blend mode from normal to soft light to create that kicker of light under the eye. Now, it's still probably a little bright, so what I would do is I would make a copy of that for the second light, and then we'll lower the opacity of the 2D at one time so it's uniform. You can just duplicate the layer if you want. You can go 
Command J on Mac, Control J on PC, and make a second layer. But if you're really willing to save some time, and I think you ought to, do this instead. When you have the one light you like, just hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on PC, click and drag yourself a copy. And that's just a little bit quicker. Just click and drag yourself a copy. All right, now you've got both of them. Put them on the same layer by pressing Command E on Mac or Control E on PC. And there's that kicker. Look when I back off what it does for the eyes. It's still too much, it's too bright, but look at that. It really makes the eyes sparkle. Now we're gonna go and lower the opacity a bit, just like that. Lower the opacity, and look what it does for the eyes. Something right in there. So there you go. That little kicker of light makes a huge, huge difference. It's really, really simple to do, and man, does it, it really just makes those eyes sparkle.